I'm back playing the video game. Definitely gonna struggle to remember what we're doing. All right, we're at this little village here. We're shouting to some folks. Uh, where is the uh, one of these hold right to open? Here we go. Uh, Imperial province of Rosaria. Yeah, we're making for Port Ice Ice Soldi. Currently, we were just in the village of Amber. Remember that. This pass will take us through the mountains. Let's go. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. But a, a sizable gap. We'll see uh, how the muscle memory works. Then. I'm a little, a little concerned. Huh? Fallen hunter. So oh, Jesus. So. Ever since the apology tree, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think it's taking? The mother crystals collapse. Yup. Boom. Stop. Remember my ability. Get over here. Uh, we can go either of these ways. Let's go to the little skinny path. If it'll let us through, it does. Nice. Fuck. Damn fallen bugs. Man. There we go, Gucci. Alright. I'll probably remember exactly where we're going to Port Izaldi whenever we arrive there. This has been a little, by, a little bit. It's a sizable break, and it's gonna happen sometimes. These big story games, whenever we have a large break, but it's gonna happen, so. No point crying about it. Yo. Alright, my boy said, I'll be seeing you soon, and. Fantastic Four. <clears throat> Sucking up the life force of planets. Eh? That's some of the black shields. Uh, we have a thing about them here, right? Yeah. Uh, an order of knights instituted by Empress Annabella in one of her first acts as Vicerine. Vicerine of the newly established Imperial Province of Rosaria. They are tasked with purging the impurities from the province, which in practice primarily involves slaying bearers upon the slightest pretext. Ah. Uh, Bozos, huh? More of my mother's men. Yep. Shing. Yep. Get these war wyverns. War worms. Fallen spiders, organic spiders, fucking some Blood. sort of spider. Clive. No. And still wet. What's up, Torkel? You were told to stay in your home. More of the boys. The black shields. You know who we are, and still. You would bear your steel. Get out. 
Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. Yep. I'll show you a true shield of Rosaria. Get these mages. Any more mages? Shouldn't need the limit break here. Go on there. <laughs> Fuck off. Get over here. Get out of my sight. Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. Mm. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> they await you in ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Hey, fucking head. Let's go. Make for the Old Hill docks. Jesus. Now those be item first. Thank you. Smell fucking burnt into my brain. Regarding that night. Rotting flesh. Oh my god, it's gonna be like a stack of bodies on it. Oh. Shit. Branded. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone? I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this. She's fucked up. Life. Should go. Yes. Oof. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. 
But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, back for Port Isolde. They may already be in Port Isolde. Isolde. Yeah, I just gotta head on. Buitt Bridge. Oof. We're approaching Buitt Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Not without a fight, at least. Oh, yeah, it's all up ahead. Is that a, is that a friendly or is it a bow? Okay, these look like regular people. Buitt Bridge, okay. Didn't happen to come by way of old hill, did you? Refugees. Saw some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. Oy. The next morn, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. Oof. I did, mummy. I could hear him shouting from down the road. Hmm. In honor of the 250th anniversary of the founding of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. They're all Rosaria. But this is their home. You'll find no succor to the South Travelers, nor beyond the Buet. Hmm. The Empire has seen fit to banish us from our own land. Succor's a funny word, huh? Can someone, uh... What the fuck is that? Quiet sounds. I think it's a scary crabs overhead. Some down the beach here too, apparently. Quiet sands through to the silken strand. Okay. Oh, actually, a little town. Silken strand. The Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The Lazarus. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. I told my uncle that matter. That's right, we're gonna see Clyde's uncle. Yep. yep. <laughs> Fuck off. We'll get the Port Isol to Obelisk at least, so. Take what we can get, really. Hmm. Not looking good. I think we can climb the cliff and get them No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. Climb the cliff. Hi, Noodle. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. <clears throat> Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. Hmm. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst Always the Always secret tunnels, then. The Lazarus.
We'll find our way into the city there. It's like a catacomb or something like that? Eh. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? Hmm. As long as it is abandoned. It seems abandoned, yeah. Black light burns. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Find an entrance to the Maybe Lazarus district. They were looking for. Switch over to our Torgal ability so we don't actually use a potion when I don't mean to. Getting the reveal of uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows tomorrow. Very excited. The the Japan game. I assume it'll be just a cinematic cutscene or something like that, but or, or cinematic trailer. But I'm very excited. Coming out in like October, November time. So. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Hmm. We've got outlaws in like the end of summertime, and then uh, shadows then in like autumn. I think it's up. Got that summer game fest coming up as well soon, so I wonder if we get any interesting revelations during that. It's nowhere near as uh, frivolous with buying new games as I, I used to be, so. Haven't, haven't pre ordered Outlaws or anything like that yet. Uh oh. Not abandoned then. Hmm. Great. Visitors! Ah. Lads, say. So not Black Shields, but just Raiders or Bandits or something. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Hmm. How many of them? Mm -mm. Not. Gotta get him. Age yep. gone. Oh, this guy mage too. Kill him. Boom. Oh. Oh, gurgle. Oof. Ever seen one man fight like that? Nope. Oh. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Uh. Ah. Lads. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. Uh, wait, I, uh... So wait. He's from the flashback. He's one of the two guys. Does he recognize Jill? Inside. Does he recognize Jill as well? I need to open my window more. I'll do it when I next get to gameplay. Thankfully, we didn't kill any of those guys. <laughs> we just like knocked them under our soul, but it's alright. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. 
and we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, the Black there Shield is only mentioned so them. much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. <laughs> but we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Good. They got a nightmare for them. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. <laughs> Aye, the foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Very extreme. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. Hmm. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession mm. with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. In the air. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields of Broken Camp. Nope. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. Stinky lad, get them off the bridge. We can help out. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. Let's go. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. Big Wade, huh? Let's go. And we at yours. So Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. <laughs> Let's go get those black shields. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Speak with Wade. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. <laughs> Let me just open the window a little bit more. Check my abilities and stuff as well. Um, yeah, we should probably. Where's the? Yeah, here's the. No, this is the Phoenix. This is. I thought Bahamut got his own ones. You know, we should level up some of these. Judgment bolt. Someone from the heavens, a mighty eleven bolt to deal mass damage to a single target. It's pretty, pretty good. Oh, that was a. Uh, I put judgment bolt on that one instead. You're telling me that's the Archduke's son. Quartermaster. You are welcome to what little we have managed to salvage. Yeah, I got any potions there, lad? 
Oh, I'm already full. Never mind. I will be here should you need aught else. I wait. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buick Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. <laughs> While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to overwhelm them. advantage. How small exactly? Small enough. We fought a few of them. Now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Bold and done. Good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Black or white? Uh, throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Has Wade joined the party? I think he has. I wonder if I save. Will he be on the little save thing? Hey, yep, there's Wade at the end. <laughs> May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. Hey. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village, we tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. I can get him. I need to download Elden Ring again ahead of Shadow of the Air Tree. Make sure I haven't jumped into New Game Plus because I'd be a fucking bastard if I have to do the DLC on New Game Plus. I fucking hope I didn't. You find that out soon. So at least I prepare myself. Bugger me sideways. Come along now. The bastard. There they are. On your command, my lord. Let's fucking get him. There's a mage as well. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. What's the message? Fucker! <laughs> you presume to tell us... Two mages. ...that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the <laughs> Black <laughs> Shields. <laughs> then come! Die along with your flame! You presume too much, lad. For us, Aria! For us area. I'm here too. The joke. revolution <laughs> ends here. On these are swords we swear. Can I bugger my abilities or something. Huh. Do they silence me or something? I haven't got any of my abilities. Well, 
Bloody hell. Reinforcements from the far back. Where are my icons? Another wyvern to fight their battles for them. Oh fucking hell. Where's all my stuff? Did I fucking de equip it all or something? I have nothing for this wyvern. Oh. I don't even have my Gerudo stuff to pull it over with. Oh fucking hell. The Imperials aren't taking any chances. I can't say I'm flattered. Nice try. Where are all my high con abilities? Fucking Wade stole them, huh? That's what I'm shooting to believe. I just can't hit this thing. Oh, fuck me. Find out what happened to them now. <laughs> oh fucking hell! A noble stand. I don't have my abilities. Albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point: that this land is in dire need of cleansing. Where are my abilities? Eh? <laughs> Genuinely, why are they gone? Why are they all unequipped? Oh fuck, it's a fucking disaster. It's gonna take ages just because I can't use any of my abilities. Just need to chip away at his health. Oh. We're not even getting a break between these fights so they can, I can re-equip my stuff because you can't change it in combat. Fuck me. Ow! My abilities are working, this will be fine. Found us. There's no one left to keep them occupied. We need to finish this. I am fucking trying, lads, but my stuff's all gone. I don't know if I've, if I've done this or like 
It's a bug. Fucking brain hoying, whatever it is. I need to lay on them, huh? I can do that all apparently. Yep. Yep. Abilities go. No more fights, please. Let me re-equip my stuff. Jill, help. I don't see any more. I don't see any more abilities. Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud! My, uh, Lord. <laughs> Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. <laughs> She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. Banana. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. So I die. Think we should fall back to Port Azolda before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Please let me look at my equipment, please. My abilities. Funding you and your comrades' endeavors. That's where we're here to go, Lord Byron. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the vice regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, They'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows. Gotta keep the involvement. Where he would be of no use to anyone. On the do you know. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord. It's like a knowing that one wrong rail. move might prove his downfall. It and is one mother, I guess, too. Ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience. Especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. Ah, not a way to prove him, not a ghost. Just a it's wrong. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Seal obtain you. Sam kept the burnt blade from Wade. Nice. I shall wear it with pride. Got a little collection sure of my Pokemon badges. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. 
If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Rip the boys out. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. <laughs> My abilities. Jill, please. Don't walk too fast. Port Isolde, the Imperial Province of Ruse area. Rosfield Manor. Over here, nice. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. Big tiger on the right there. Jesus. Right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. He means to string us up himself. Got the big fucking weapon. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Hello. Hmm. Clive Rosfield died long ago. I saw the like, oh shit, there's him. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. Gonna conjure the flame. You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, <laughs> loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. What do we do, the kid? Meadow. Thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Oh shit, it is him. You're gonna see him as a gap. <laughs> the little blink the younger. Curse thee, infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? They're, they're, they're back and forth, their script. Very well. I shall open the gates of hell. Oh, that crying. thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh my dear boy. It's really you. <laughs> you always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. So I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. <laughs> Good time. Only guests, we dine immediately. But uncle, you can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. <laughs> we eat. Go on, sit. Yeah, we're gonna pick up the axe off the floor. Or? See that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Mm. Like what? I don't know, but... She's got way more extreme. The woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. A 
That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Hmm. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Brother of the king, All right, then. if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us then? About everything. You son of a bitch. I'm in now. Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. I want to hear in Clive's voice, so like, the true. The one hmm. thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. Hmm. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> Let me start of a joke. Why right then? Who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. Byron's fun. Still haven't added my abilities. If we get jumped on this ship, I'm in trouble. Harpies or fucking merfolk or some shit. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Okay, Joel. Something on your mind. Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. So I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything. Oof. Anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster. Clive, do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past.
And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. My abilities. Targo just chilling there. Nice scene. Back to the hideaway. Boom. Here be monsters. Only the founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Well, the cutscene of the director film, not a game. They're no, they're no more longer than Yakuza. Really. Culinary Pilgrimage. And Blacksmith's Blues. You only get those ones like the proper cutscenes every once in a while as well. Clive, oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackthorn. He ain't himself. Oh, blacksmith. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. But normally, it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's getting him down. Hmm. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. What's up, Blackthorn? It's like he's lost his spark, you know. He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? <laughs> so, what'd you say? Sure. Fine. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. He'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. <laughs> so, I'll go first. And you can meet us at the forge. All right. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. Another sub, uh, side quest to check out anyway. Blacksmith's Blues. All right. I'm not going to speak to Vivian just yet. I'm going to see what the other one is over here. The culinary expedition or something like that. I also need to restock on potions because I fucking spent them all. Vicious. That monster's taken quite a liking to leave. And what can I do for you? Oh, Carol. Can I have some potions, please? Thank you. You'll not find a better price than that. Thank you. Even. Here you van. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea. A culinary pilgrimage. Hm. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. Delicious and dungeon stuff, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. <laughs> From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. Want some ingredients for me? If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. Yeah. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of Ton of worms, real. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Sure. Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine. I'll help. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Chancer's Stew. Stew. It was once a favourite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. 
though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe mm -hmm. is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. People probably. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but unwanted violets. Hmm. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Hmm. Roses. Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. Okay. I'll ask next time I'm there. I'm gonna do the uh, blacksmith one while we're here. Also, I need to look at my abilities. What the fuck happened to my abilities? Why do they all unequip? Why have I got no abilities? Where'd they all go? Very weird. Fucking strange. Yes, get rid of there. With the gouge and then the. I suppose we'll put Wicked Wheel there and then we want Ramu. And on the, on the square we want the Pile Drive and then we want Judgment Bolt here. Very weird, they all unequipped. But, uh... right, here's the Forge down here. Oh, Blackthorn. You alright there, lad? Ah! You're meant to be here. Looks, just, looks suspicious now. First August, and now you. What are you pair up to? <laughs> What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Sticking up there. just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. Hmm. Phil, shut you up. It's coming from a good place. It's nothing, really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? A lot of people feel that, unfortunately. Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and mm -hmm. she yeah. shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Big lad, yep. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. <laughs> Now, every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. You happy? You got what you came for. Now, piss off. Where's the cure right. We're going. Caron, maybe we can tell us where it went. Dink. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Hmm. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. Let me track it down. If he has doubts, it will affect his work. <laughs> which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Caron, I'm sure behind us there. Happy to help, that is. Lurking over Clive's Too shoulder. right, I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Hmm. Reading time? Okay, enjoy. That monster's taken quite a liking to Lady Karen. Enjoy. He's not a monk. Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. It's probably gone. Farrow sold it already. Yep. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened across him on my travels. 
Max all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. Hmm. He didn't like the colour of some it. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. He's roaming? Doesn't even have a workshop. He don't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working the rides. I see. Dun, 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 dun. I can't give us something. It did tell me summit though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of Griffin Hyde Greaves. Mm -hmm. Here, there's a Griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag him. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in San Bray. Karen maybe. Norvant, okay. Karen Norvant, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you okay, would be So. It sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunting to you if you don't mind. <laughs> While you get on with that, All right, August, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. We know you're going to find it. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. Alright. Use the hunt board to locate the griffin and speak with the butcher at Martha's Rest. <laughs> Yeah, it's doing okay. Back streaming after about two weeks away. Uh, yeah, back some uh, Final Fantasy 16 today. Oh, nectar. Ask about Griffin sightings. They here were hoping to hunt down a Griffin Kupo, then I have the build for you Kupo, an especially horrible one in the locals called Dosmare. Care Norvent Westgate Sandbracky. Norvent Westgate, okay. Alright, let's go before I forget. How are you doing yourself, Cloud Hollow? You're enjoying your whatever time of day it is. This is Martha's Rest. We want where the fuck is Oh, Kernorvent. Uh I think this is Karen Norvent here, isn't it? One of these two. This is the closest gate we're gonna get. Oh shit. Uh hmm. Which gate was it? Westgate, right? Do they mean the river gate? There's one area here. I don't really know what that is. Holy eye. Okay. Maybe we just go into Cairn Orvent and we pop out the other side, maybe? I guess. I'm gonna try it. Oh no, that's just like off the map. Never mind. Ignore me. I assume if I was at the right gate, I would see a big ass griffin. I don't think it's here. that I couldn't place a ping on the map for the griffin because the quest thing is just like just go look at the quest board and 
Go find it. No, those aren't griffins. I think that's Karen Nor. Hmm. Hmm. There's an area over here I haven't explored yet, but I think it's the right way, but uh... Just keeping high for a big griffin. I would say, are they rappers? Uh, <laughs> get them. Right there, Joe. Tell them it's not the right spot. Sorry, Torgal, you're in the way. I hope there's not something I had to like trigger from the, the hunt board or something like that. I was clicking everything and nothing worked, so. so the quest says to use the hunt board to locate it. I Assume that just means you need to go ahead and find it, just. Not that I didn't click something and progress the quest properly. I'm just going to head back to Lost Wing. Guess we can run down here and connect this way. And check that other gate. Like from the Lost Wing direction, but I don't know. Way spider. Yo. Die. Oof. A little. Is it the wrong move? A little overkill. I just do the the slam one where it does like the area of effect. Well, it killed it. Too. I want to go down here and then just go up this way. It is the Black Shields took a hiding. Stay on the upper level of Lost Wing so we can head out immediately. Yep. To the cutter's gate. Okay, like a little area over here, it could be. This is the Cairn Orbent West Gate. I guess I could put it in this area here before that river gate. But I feel like the bounty board would say, or the hunt board would say river gate. If it meant the river gate, not the fucking west gate. I'm going to ignore these spiders. Eh, uh, fuck it. The attack I meant to do last time. Bit of a run, it's gonna be those poisonous flowers over, but try and ignore them, let them rest. I don't think that's it. Uh, it very clearly looked like a, I was like, is that a weird Final Fantasy griffin? But it very clearly looked like a griffin in the book. With the bird head and everything, not a like a dragon head. Just 
finding the bastard is a problem. I'm just going to bank on it being in this little area here. Right before the river gate. Hopefully these flowers don't wake up. I don't pass through them. Very, very naive of me. Actually, they're quite low level compared to me. Alright. The other side of this bridge is what I'm hoping. I'm gonna kill these people. Scavengers, ever the wardens. Yeah. Yep. Nothing else is crafting materials. Alright. Please be over here, otherwise, let's go back and. Fuck, I don't know. Revalue it, so. Ah, uh, that's not looking good, huh? So. Don't exactly make for easy prey. There we go. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Ooh. Hi, you're right. Yeah, back today. You're hunting a griffin. Oh, there it is. Dosmer, rank B. Twenty hits. We'll have to wait. Whoa. Look sharp. Oh. Alright, make a tornado. I don't know how to forget how to use that ability. Yeah, so when I start talking comics again, yeah. <laughs> I'm back at my computer and everything, yeah. I've got tomorrow's uh, Mace Windu sitting beside me as well, Olo. Like, I, I, I don't have any way of getting images for it yet. To post with my reaction to it, so I haven't uh, posted anything yet. And I'll have them until tomorrow. When the, the usual sources get them. But it's sitting there beside me. Hi, yup. It's this, it's the last issue. Yeah, issue four. Yeah, last this, this, this week is the end of the mini series. Fuck, keep forgetting they jump. Can we trip it? There we go. Whoa. This is a fine little mini series. Nothing spectacular, but it's a good time. 
be getting some younger Mace Windu. Younger, relatively. Got right, in the dive again, right? Fuck, I tried to double jump. Probably. Oh. His third is injured. Could that be our man? You feel vindicated in your belief that Mace Windu is one of the most overrated Star Wars characters? I like Mace Windu a lot, honestly. A lot of that is like I really like Samuel L. Jackson. And the fact that he wants to play the character again, I, I like a lot. I think Samuel L. Jackson definitely, like, gives him some oomph with the community, like. Are you alright? Yeah. Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. <laughs> Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? <laughs> She's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Mm -hmm. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. Where is it, Tim? <laughs> she sent you for a refund. It's not her who sent me. This is the competition to uh, our blacksmith man. Well, consider me flattered. Black, you should Blackthorn, be. yeah. Blackthorn's He's a, a master of his art. Blacksmith. And not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... <laughs> Actually... I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, nice. you did save my life. Something to take back to Blackburn. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself. That is, but there are rules against it, secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right, I've got some griefs to make. <laughs> you send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. Who's who's your favorite member of the Phantom Menace Jedi Council coming out of the Living Force alone? Hopefully, this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. We have just had the chapter where um, Yariel Puff finally lands on Quen. Um, and where he meets back up with uh, Kiari Mundi and they start fucking ribbing each other again. And with a bit of luck, Clyde might even find the geezer. And it's like, it's it, it's a chapter more focused on Yariel Puff instead of Kiari Mundi, so you kind of get into Yariel Puff's head and like, he's like, uh, yeah, Yara Puff is like so old that he's like become bored with life, so he's like um he's bored with a thing with, with every bored with different things, like so he's like taken to like pranking and like trying to find joy in trivial things and he's 
very funny. I like him a lot. Even Peel's a good one. Yeah, even Peel, even Peel with the kids has been very good so far. Yeah. Bloody busy. How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. And he asked me to give you this. Along with his regards. Treated leather. A sample of supple hide dressed to the artisan Camille's exacting standard. It is an area trace of the barnyard musk of lesser leathers instead smelling faintly of rose hips. Are you joking? Swallow your pride. Blackthorn. Is a gift. He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it. But that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. No wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. That's going off, eh? Oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. His mood's straight up ready. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive. You didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. <laughs> Turns out, he's from Tabor. And again, most leather workers are. The pirate? But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret. The details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you found him. <laughs> this has cheered me right up. Nice. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what hides to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. And don't get me started how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Nice anyway, happy. enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. Bam. Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. Nah, I wouldn't have been the same anyway. No one spins a yarn like old Blackthorn in his cups. <laughs> right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. Oh, that's sweet. There's a, a series of like three uh, chapters we have recently in the, in the Living Force, which. Uh, a diagram detailing the steps to craft a belt and van brace is fit for a hero necessary for crafting Drake Slayer gear. Uh, it kind of shows the the different um, tones and like vibes of the book really well. I think. Talk more about it when we get away from talking to uh, <clears throat> Blackthorn here. You've obtained the design draft for Drake Slayer gear. Design drafts unlock new crafting options at the Black Hammer. Visit Blackthorn in the hideaway. Okay, yeah. So, what will it be? Um, Drake Slayer stuff. We need Electrum. Um, it was um, and? I can't remember what order they're in, and I can't remember if they're exactly back to back, but I think they're they're fairly close. Um, there's a chapter with um, in the the Depa Balaba um pirate story. Um, then there's a chapter with, um, it's kind of the one where she's like nearly being executed and then the, the Zalastra, the pirate leader, gets called away for some, some reason we don't know yet. Um, then there's a chapter with Yaddle where she's getting like interviewed on like the fucking local talk show by the, one of the two-headed bozos from Phantom Menace. Um, talking about the Jedi, talking about their involvement on Quen, and then... Uh, Yaddle speaks to the the, the sound engineer, whoever she is, who's like really depressed. 
Uh, that's a really sweet chapter. I really love that one. Really, really lovely. And then after that is the Yarl Puff landing on Quen. Uh, speaking with Caddy Mundi and talking and encountering the state skulls. Funny chapter. And I think it, the, the, the tones especially of the Yaddle and Yarl Puff chapters, I think it is, shows why I like that. I really like the different tones of the book so well. I think it can go from very funny to very sweet. Yeah, like kind of almost effortlessly. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here. here here's the picture. Flesher. Ah, oh, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. Yeah. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets. If you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Hmm. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. Damn scorpion tails. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. Hmm. When there was a war on, that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? Yeah, I think there's some down in the valley, actually, yeah. You say they do? Yeah. Three reads would be your best bet. Memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Uh, search the nearby swamp for scorpions. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so the, the current way our schedule is as well. Um, uh, Senia Saga Hellblade Two is our current uh, Thursday Friday game. Obviously, it's not out yet. It's out next week. Uh, so, uh, what we're going to do this week, just for a bit of variety. Because we're currently lacking a third game, is we're going to just bounce between our two games, uh, just do 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 do, do. Day, uh, one like a day on, day off, day on, day off. So today's gonna be Final Fantasy, tomorrow's gonna be Control, Thursday's gonna be Final Fantasy, and then Friday, Saturday, both Control as well. So Final Fantasy still gets us two days this week, Control gets two extra days basically. Stay sharp. Yeah. After what the Empire did to Martha, we'll be continuing the Foundation. Right. Well, I'm enjoying the book a lot. And on the Mace Windu topic as well, like we have a Mace Windu novel later this year, right? Got, I think got delayed, right? Mace Windu The Glass Abyss. Probably interested by that one too. But yeah, a lot of like, um, a lot of just general prequel material. Cat here. This, this year, obviously, I'm assuming the time with the, the Phantom Menace 25th, where we got the Mace Windu comic, we got the um, Mace Windu, the Glass Abyss novel with the Living Force. We have the Django Fett one. The Django Fett one's kind of like a little outlier, I guess, because it's more like Attack of the Clones. But it's still Phantom. It's still like prequel focused. I love me prequel stuff, so like I'm more than happy for it all. Also, I, remember, I think I remember telling you that the, the comic recording had been delayed. I do not yet know if it has resumed, which is unfortunate. It was very sad when there was a date locked down. Yup. Scorpion tails. I want the violets. There we go. I better get this back to Yvonne before it goes bad. Uh, speaking of Depa, you're pleasantly surprised to hear she spends some time on Chalacta to get to know their culture. I find Star Wars often does a very poor job of handling Jedi characters and the culture of their birth. People to the point where some of them too the line of cultural appropriations made me very happy. Is that in the sense that like Depa is like an like an 
Indian kind of Pakistani coded character. But yeah, she does have she does have the line right because yeah, the Quen is along the fucking U Utmian route or whatever, right where Chalacta was. Yeah. Did you find our mystery ingredient? Yes. The tails of certain species of scorpion are prized as a delicacy. The trace amounts of poison remaining in their flesh, lending them a certain piquancy. The common marsh scorpion, however, not only lacks a stinger, but subsists on a diet of mudworms and bog moss, lending its flesh an altogether more troubling tang. I did indeed. Marvelous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely. Most likely. You wouldn't be wrong, but that's your unwanted violet. Into the pot it goes, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. Hopefully it tastes deadly. Mm, slight bit of poison here. Dead in the chair. Huh? No. I present Chance's Stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm not... Purple. Not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. We're gonna go in and come back and smile and be lying dead. Huh? <laughs> mm. Don't know if that's a good grunt or not. Uh oh. <coughs> oh Odin's teeth. <laughs> what the salt on the senses. It's like choking on swamp water. <laughs> and and yet uh -oh. up through the pungency there rise complex meaty notes oh he likes that time it takes a moment to recover <laughs> from such an onslaught of flavors but never have i tasted anything so oh, fine i suppose it's purple because of the fucking purple scorpion tails that makes sense thank you the unwanted violets so. welcome i must share this gift oh god i won't rest until the steaming bowl of chance oh. stew sits before everyone in the hideaway a single mouthful and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. <laughs> she looks rough there. Uh, she has those traditional piercings. And if you spend time on her home plan, it makes sense that it wasn't the case and she only knew that culture from books or something. Quite problematic. Interesting. Patch of metal plus one. Where does she have the piercings? Do I think. It's funny for me whenever I think of Depa Balaba, I, I picture her. Uh, in the, uh, the Canaan comic. Whenever I started getting re re really big into the canon, above her nose, between the eyes. Oh. Here? Does she? Uh, whenever I first started getting big into the canon, um, like in the lead up to uh, Force Awakens, when I read the, um... oh yeah, jeez, uh, can I be honest? I never realized those are piercings. Uh, but yeah, I read the Canaan comic, and then so obviously Depa Balaba's in that, and she's in like the comic style, and I never realized that she was she'd been in live action then. So whenever I saw her in live action, I was like, oh shit, that's that's her. Yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, yeah, never. I never realized there were piercings it's before. He's not a monster. He's... Bum, 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 bum. I need to speak to you, Vivian. You know, Mace Windu. You know what I would, what I would really like. You know, in Jedi of the Republic, Mace Windu. You get the little bit of Mace when he was younger with his master. I would, I would like to more to see some more of that. I, I always like knowing the more about the masters of the Jedi we know, so you know kind of like 
you see the things that have been passed down, you understand why certain characters are the way they are. I like that. The lineage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, that is a great lineage, right? That's the that's the Mace Windu. Uh Deba Balaba Kanan Ezra lineage. That's a good one. Hmm. Back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, <sighs> ever the charmer. Sheesh. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. The mother crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the Iron Blood made their move. She's going to tell us the lore. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. Mm -hmm. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the mother crystal sacred. Probably not very happy with destroyed one. do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and ah, okay. light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. You think they should be only used for Indeed. like the faithful consider like ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Yep. Yeah, using Jill. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. They went for Drake's head. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath and plucked it from the duchy's grasp. Yoink. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course. The Iron Kingdom has no held it since then, okay. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship, meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. Boom, 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 boom. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy Time gods, to destroy us. From which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood. The control of Drake's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital. Killed the men. And captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Gotta get it. Thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready. Wonder will we see Ezra take on an apprentice? How did we never hear about these guardians of the flame? That'd be sick. Same way they never heard about us, I expect. Continue the lineage, huh? Soon. One way or another. You're right there, Jill. You ready? I think so. 
Jill. I was coughing up a lung downstairs. When you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran. Hmm. The leader of the crystalline orthodox. The man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need... to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Let's go. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. Grip it like a lad, huh? Boom, boom. I'm so... The, ac the acolyte's so soon, huh? I'm very excited, huh? Drake's breath, the Iron Kingdom, jutting forth from the fiery maw of sacred Mount Drustinus. The Mother Crystal is the pillar upon which the faith of a cloistered nation rests. The Boiling Sea, Western Storm. Useful trick. Freezing and thawing the spray to make mist. How did you learn to use your powers like this? The masters made me do it. When the crusaders took to the seas. To keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes. <clears throat> I'm fine. No, you're not. This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. Should have said before speaking to Jill, maybe. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Oh shit, there it is. She is the Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. Drake's breath. Drake's breath. I was scared to come on there. Like it was fucking stabbed into the mountain, kind of. Drake's breath, the Iron Kingdom. Strong no currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. This island is a natural fortress. But safety breeds complacency, allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. It's the cave on Pabu, yeah. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. Someone asked us earlier on Discord, and I wonder if you would have known the answer. What's the name of the Nebulon B frigate at the end of the end of our back? I came here, Couldn't even tell you what a Nebulon B frigate is. It used to belong to Rosaria, didn't it? Once, though it's been in the Ironblood's clutches for far too long. As was I. For 13 years, this rock was my home. What a great setting. its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it anymore. The perfect little shortcut. Is that like the 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 one they're on at the very end when Luke's getting like his hand and all that kind of stuff?
Yeah. Don't think I know that. What's the answer? I'm trying to wrap up here for the day as well. Redemption. Good name. No, if you had to ask me gun to my head, I'd be like, just shoot me. <laughs> I can make out it. <laughs> Alright, that's where we're gonna end stream for today. If I'm being back, uh, takes a little bit like for especially for big story games like this in the Yakuza when there's a long break to see remember what we're doing, but we're back into it. Control shouldn't be really an issue, I don't think so. It's not really a story intensive, I don't think. Um, but we'll be back playing some control tomorrow, uh, back into the foundation, back to Fan Fancy on Thursday. Yeah, control Friday, Saturday. So, thanks for watching tonight. Later on. Good night. Bye bye.